It's like eight o'clock. We're at the abandoned Federal Mogul building again. <clears throat> it's a nice spot. Nobody bothers me. The pilot can roam around. He's been out since seven o'clock this morning, just bebopping. Um, I took a shower already this morning. I took a shit this morning. Uh, not my proudest moment, but reality of van life. So, I told you my emergency shit plan. It's with the space toilet. Just pull it out, plug it in, good to go, wraps it up. See you later. <clears throat> well, I woke up, did a little bit of reading, and uh, I was like, man, I might need to wait to eat breakfast until I poop, you know? And when I say that, I mean like I wasn't going to eat until I went to like Walmart or Kroger and took a crap. Well, I didn't eat, but as soon as I stood up out of bed, I was like, <laughs> this might be happening sooner than later. I'm like, nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It'll, I'll be like, I can hold it. It'll pass. Like, good to go. And I'm not talking like, it wasn't like some explosive shit, but like I just, I had to poop. I had to poop. Like it wasn't, it was not waiting. Not happening. Cause I was thinking like, ah, I could make the coffee. Like I don't, I won't drink a ton, but I'll make some coffee. I'll put it in a mug, I'll hit the road. Like, you know, I'll get to Walmart, take crap. Maybe see if they got any discount baked goods. And, uh, yeah, be like life will be good. Good to go. I stood up, was gonna start making coffee, and I'm like, I can't do anything right now but poop. So I opened up the little garage door access thing and started shuffling some stuff, and I'm like, I don't got time for this. Like, this is not gonna work. Uh, so. shopping bags and I came out here and I squatted down and I took a shit. <laughs> Real life folks, way too much. Some of you are cringing like crazy right now. I live in a van. I do not have permanently assembled and ready to use toilet. I was gonna show you, I'll show you. <laughs> There's poop in there. You can't see it, it's just a bag. But uh, yeah. I gotta talk about spiders. I found a spider in the van the other night. I didn't scream. <clears throat> I did yell quite loud, it, but it like it wasn't a girly scream. No, but that sucker was probably like the size of my thumbnail. Um black and white and it, like look it looked furry I didn't get a close enough look but I could tell it was just furry the thing was no good uh, maybe two feet away from my bed on the ceiling like if you can cling to a ceiling like you're not it's not okay like I'm not okay with it um, there's like four coats of polyurethane on that fucking ceiling. Like, it's slick. There's no, like, no rough, like, spots for grip. Like, no, that, that stuff is slick. He was up there. I was not having it. Not having it. Squished him. Uh, I had to. 
I don't have plastic cups or anything or else I could have probably cupped them and put a paper under it and put them outside and be like, all right, go kill something else, not me. But he was after me, he was gonna draw blood. It uh, had to go, wasn't gonna be me. Was not gonna be me. What else? Been working myself to the bone. Been pretty much running 16s all week. I think there was one, one night I didn't. So I can come out here and take a shower because I needed it bad. Uh, yeah. So let's just say I'm not waking up as early as I used to. Like I wake up with barely enough time to make coffee and get to school. Uh, or get to school and make coffee and get inside. But whatever. Um, barely. Some mornings I literally don't have time and <clears throat> I have to go without coffee. Oh well. And I surely have not been doing coffee talks. Till this morning. Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mom. Yeah. You're probably not happy about that coffee talk, huh? Well, at least I didn't poop my pants. You taught me well, right? <laughs> Pilot's due for his tick medicine, which is working superbly because the other day, yesterday, I brushed him and uh, a dead tick came out of his fur. So that's good. Apparently it works. And he's not really affected by it, so that's good. He did act a little funky when I gave him the doses of it, but he kind of like got drugged the hell up uh, when he went to the vet. Like he got all, he got his rabies, his kennel one, his other one. He got some heartworm stuff, some other worm stuff, and then flea, tea and, or flea and tick stuff. Like, so he's drugged up. So he kind of acted weird for a couple days, but I feel like that's probably normal. <clears throat> he wasn't doing nothing crazy. He just wasn't so like, chew on sticks and go be up in your business all the time you know he, he wanted his own space so which is fine what else in life um oh the showering thing so I don't shower all the time even though like I could it's just at a cost of water which whatever you know um, I have a couple spots I can get some free water I'm mad at it uh, even if I have to pay for it like I can go to Walmart and at Walmart I can fill up for like under 10 bucks for like 20 plus gallons of water so, like that's fine uh, But showering takes like some discreetness. I have a shower curtain, but it's not the best. Um, so there's that. Uh, and it's just, it's kind of, it's kind of a pain in the butt. And it's always raining here, which you're like, well, you're gonna get wet anyways, just who cares? Yes, true, but my bed will get wet when those back doors open it just exposes the bed obviously I don't want a wet bed I don't know about you but knock on wood I haven't had a wet bed in a long time so yeah. um, but finding a spot to do it that's the tricky part um, preferably I don't want anybody rolling up on me you know, that would just be weird. Um, I don't want to be in a spot that might cause issue. Like, I don't want to be at a park or something, have somebody see him like, oh my gosh, is that guy like trying to flash himself to kids? Like, no, no, I'm not. Just trying to take a shower. I'm not trying to go to jail, not trying to have a felony on my record. Like, no. 
that's where it gets weird. Maybe I'm a little too scared and hesitant about it, but we do live in a fucked up time where everybody's after everybody for no fucking reason. Like, no questions asked. Like, I know what you were doing. Like, no, you don't. But thanks for getting me, like, on the sex offender list. Like, thanks, bro. Um, yeah. And I guess where I'm going with that is the park that is around here just happens to have a daycare, like, right next to it. So that's, like, a no-go. Even if it was after hours, like not even willing to chance it like nope nope not doing it um and there's not like there's not many like uh i guess road, roadside pull-offs or something that i could like back into and you know open doors and be backed up against something alaska was good for that like i mean go down freaking main street and you could probably find one out here, not so much. Uh, not so common. But I'm getting it figured out. Just gotta find somewhere that China stole, you know? It's whatever. Um, it's been warm and humid. Let's talk about the weather. Not really. We don't need to talk about it, but I'm not regretting not putting air conditioning in, but I had already cut four holes in the van. What would have been a fifth, you know? Might have been pretty nice. center drill that square and then cut out the tongue and groove on the inside because I mean I'm not getting a jigsaw blade that's like a foot long you know and it, it ain't happening um, and it would be a pain and then running the wires would be an absolute absolute nightmare because uh, I didn't run like extra conduit for wires uh, for like later like improvements or upgrades or anything I think I like there's a couple conduits with a little bit of space in it but not much not much at all um, is what it is kind of thing <clears throat> yep uh, what else here folks Been applying to a ton of jobs. Um, been applying to a bunch in Alaska. Been applying to a bunch around here. Up in the Northeast. Got nothing. Got nothing. Which like blows my mind. Because I'm wondering like, okay. Are you posting jobs because you already have the person picked and you got to do the whole equal opportunity bullshit? Um... Are you posting jobs and just not actively pursuing like applicants? Um, yeah, kind of blows my mind. Blows my mind. Um, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Get it figured out sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, what else, what else? 
I'm looking forward slash really not looking forward heading to the northeast. Uh, got Joe's wedding. Um, just for the heck of it yesterday, um, I happened to look up fuel prices. Diesel in the northeast is like averaging over six dollars. And I thought it was bad down here at like 529. That's gonna suck. I really need slash want to find a job between now and the wedding because it's gonna be a couple hundred bucks just to get there, which sucks. <laughs> need me a job. Um, I mean, I could I could find a job at Lowe's or freaking wherever, or Dollar Tree or the gas station. Like, I'm not above that, but also I didn't go to school to not do something with welding. Like, <laughs> uh, I mean, if it came to it and I was that down in the gutter as far as money goes, I'd, I'd do it. You know what I mean? Like, something else would come along along the way, that's fine. And just because I got a job doing that doesn't mean I have to stop looking for a welding job. I'm gonna wait till the very last freaking second till I do that, because I don't wanna do that. Um, I think that's all I got. I'm just rambling now. I'm trying to do like a week's worth of coffee talks on a Sunday. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> got a couple weeks left to school unless I find a job earlier um, I'm gonna do some downhill stuff I was talking to Jerry this week he was asking when we're gonna see some YouTube welding stuff I don't know if I can do that I don't know maybe at some point give you like maybe once I'm on a job maybe I could do like a day of a traveling van welder I don't know that'll have to happen down the road I don't know <clears throat> but uh, gonna work on doing some downhill stuff look like Billy Badass out there um, for those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about which is probably 99.9% .9 of you uh Downhill welding is what all the pipeline guys do, like the oil pipeline. They got that funky looking flat welding helmet with the small view and they just run the rod downhill, one handed, just leaning up on the pipe, all casual. Uh, I'm gonna do some of that. I think that might be fun, might be exciting, something different. We don't do any of that in school. That's like a, it's a very niche, niche uh, field in the industry. It's not, uh, not that it's not sought after or not popular, it, it is, but it's, the percentage of welders that do that are, is very low in comparison to the whole field. Um, so they don't they don't focus on doing that. What'd you get, bud? He's behind the building. <clears throat> oh, side note: this cat, this building, absolutely has cameras on it, and I thought it didn't. I wonder if they still record. I bet you they do because whoever owns it, whether it be you know federal mogul themselves or the bank they do deal with or whatever uh they would have to be able to you know trace back if somebody broke in or vandalized it or burnt down or whatever so i bet you they saw me shit out here <laughs> oh well the good thing is my rear license plate is blocked by my toolbox that's on it so when i drive away 
they won't see my license plate, but I definitely do have a front facing license plate. So when I do drive at the park, which I did last night, they probably saw it or could see it. Oh well. <clears throat> oh well. It's not like I, I didn't leave the poop here. I'm taking it with me. I'm gonna dispose of it. Like I'm not littering or shitting on their property. Uh, you know, it doesn't say no trespassing. Whatever. Why are you wet? Hey. Is your belly wet too? Come here. Yeah. Hopefully that's just dew. Where were you? Is there a little pond back there? I had to give him an emergency bath the other week. Did I talk about that? He went swimming in the scummiest, like scummiest drainage pond. Uh, like visibly green water, like green. And I'm not talking like, ooh, like, like Cancun, Costa Rica, green-ish blue water. No, like green, like I fucking threw up in it green. Uh with like floaties and the scum foam on top and trash inside. It's right in the corner of like the school lot. And there's frogs in there that make a funny noise. Like I, they don't like ribbit. They make like another weird screechy noise. I don't know. But uh, he went over there last weekend or the weekend before. And he freaking went in, and I wasn't, like, watching him. So, I mean, it's my fault. It is what it is. Like, I mean, I was mad at him, but I didn't, like, get mad at him. You know what I mean? Uh, just had to give him, like, an emergency bath at the school. I just went out back and used their hose, and I was like, screw this. He got he got, he got a palm olive bath. Uh, that's the school soap. I only use Dawn. But, uh... Dawn and Tide. And, but you know what? I have been skimping on paper towel. That's usually a thing that I don't skimp on. But, uh, the, um, Kroger brand paper towel, like their store brand, it's pretty good. It's pretty strong. It's pretty absorbent. They have the select sheet stuff. I mean, who doesn't these days? I'm a fan. And they're like big rolls. Like, I'm talking big rolls of paper towel. And I can get, like, two rolls. It's I don't know if it's a good price or not. It's, like, two rolls for, like, three and change or something like that. So I guess it's kind of price. It's almost two bucks a roll. But I can't go buy in a bulk because where the fuck am I going to put a 12-pack of paper towel? That is a severe downside of van life is... If you want to slash need to be like price conscious, you essentially cannot. <laughs> like, you can't. You could, but you can't. If you like to have your storage area full of other fun activity things and not just a 12 pack or 24 pack of like toilet paper and fucking paper towel and other bulk items that you would buy. Much rather buy that because I think for like 50 pounds of rice is like 20 some odd bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. And meanwhile, like a one pound bag is four or five dollars. Like, okay, I'm getting raped on that. Uh, yeah, can't do it. it, sucks. Yep, I think I'm done rambling. Uh, hopefully this recorded, because if it didn't, I'm going to be fucking pissed. That happens sometimes. I think I've narrowed it down to be the phone holder sometimes touches the uh, volume buttons. And on this phone, if you hit the volume button, it'll, it'll either take a picture or start the video. Um, so when I'm over there adjusting it... Or the thing is squeezing on it, and when I let go of the 
thing, when I'm done adjusting it, it like clicks it again. I don't know. Anywho, that's a wrap.